Hi guys and welcome back to this functional flexibility and core strength practice. Come to the middle of your mat and we're going to start to shake off those arms, rolling out through the wrist to start. Nice deep breaths in and out, smiling to yourself, getting yourself ready for this practice, moving through the elbows outward into circles, inhaling and exhaling and then reversing, inhaling and exhaling. We're going to keep the pace fairly quick today to get that blood flowing, to get your body warm. Start to roll the shoulders up towards ears and releasing back up and over. Maybe incorporating the whole spine if you have that available to you. Inhale and exhale. From here, take another deep breath in, exhaling, and then just shake out those arms. Great work. Nice deep breaths in. As we shake it out, we're going to make it all the way up to the top. Wave out those arms and release all the way back. Just releasing any tension in this body. Bring it back up. Inhale and then exhale. Bring it down. Great work. From here, take a nice deep breath in. Shaking and shrugging those shoulders. So shrugging the shoulders up towards you. Starting to bounce into the hips. So just releasing any tightness in the hips here. Softening into the knees. Just really allowing the body to release and let go. Maybe shifting one way and to the other, side to side. Maybe a gentle twist. Whatever feels good here for you. Try and relax those fingers, relax those arms. And then let's sweep it side to side. So coming up and over onto our toes. Finding a nice deep twist. Opening up the chest, opening up the torso. Through all the way down into the ankles and the toes. Inhaling. And then exhale. Let's sweep it up and over now. Reaching the arms over to the side. Each side bringing up and over into the toes. Up and out through the arms. Opening up the side body here. Take a nice deep breath in. And release. Coming down to centre. Take the hands to the hips. And let's start to take some nice big circles. So hip circles all the way through. Sending the bum back behind you. Reversing the direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Great work. Take a nice deep breath in. And then from here, we're going to come back to centre and grounding down, just shifting side to side. You can soften into the knees here if that feels good. Inhaling and exhaling. Great work. Nice deep breaths in. Now take the feet out a little bit wider, coming into this like low sumo squat, shifting side to side into the knees, into the ankles, maybe lifting the toes, maybe lifting the heels, whatever feels good here. Starting to open up into the pelvis, into the groin, inner thighs, and then ground the hands down, inner thighs. Let's release the chest down and then wave up through the spine, releasing down. And then waving up. I'm going to show you from the side here as well. So coming down, release down, wave the body up and release down. Draw the breath in as you come up and then exhale, releasing all the way down. Inhale, rise, exhale, release. Good work. From here, take another deep breath in, wave the body all the way up and exhale, release. Ground the hands down to the floor, taking the feet out a little bit wider. Now from here, we're just going to come up into the fingertips and then release the head down. Up into the fingertips, releasing the head all the way down. So just finding whatever feels good for you. If you can soften your knees a little bit here, that will just help just to release any extra tension in the back of the hamstrings. Nice deep breath in and then exhale. Ground the left hand to the middle of the mat, take the right arm up to the sky, taking a gentle torso twist here, switching sides. From here, we're going to ground the hands back down and then we're going to shift the weight side to side. Now, you can either take your hands together in front of you or place your hands on the floor. I don't expect you to come too deep, just find what works for you here. Looking to just open up into the inner thigh. You can either keep your feet facing forward or you can draw the toes up to the sky. Now from here, we're going to wiggle those feet a little bit wider, as wide as you think you can manage. And we're just going to hold it here. Take a nice deep breath in, inhaling and exhale. Release the hands down to the floor and start to shift the hips side to side again, bending into the knees. It won't be very far because obviously we're quite wide with the legs. 
And now you're going to walk your hands around to the top of your mat. Framing the front foot here, so your left foot to the front of the mat, we're going to sweep the arms up high to the sky. Take the hands to the top of the thigh, drive the knee forward, over the toes, heel grounded, and then start taking some pulses here. So we're just going to pulse forwards and back. Only go as far as feels comfortable. Don't force this. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, ground the right hand to the floor, left arm up high to the sky, pushing out into the back leg into a twisted lunge. Take the left leg on top of the right leg and open out into side plank. Inhaling. And as you exhale, extend the arm overhead. Inhale. And exhale, really engaging our core now. Deep breaths in. And as we exhale, ground down, come into plank, soften the back knees, coming into a turbo dog, and then wave the body forward into plank. Exhale, send your bum back, wave the body out into plank. Deep breath in, draw the body back. Exhale, release all the way out into our plank, and then coming down into our tricep press up before releasing back. Bring the body forward, tricep press up, drive it up and then send it back. We're going to pick the speed up on this movement in a moment. So just notice how you're coming forward into that tricep press up, sending the bum back. So more explosion now. We're going to drive forward, coming into that press up and straight back. So do as many as you can manage here. If you keep up with me, great. If you need to slow down a bit, that's fine. Release now into a down dog. Take the feet nice and wide and start to pulse between the shoulder blades. Just releasing the head down between the arms. Arms can take it go a little bit wider if that feels better for you. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring the feet back to hip width apart and we're going to step the right foot forward. Inhale, rise, bring the arms up high to the sky, big stretch before taking the hands to the front of the thigh. And now let's take that little pulse forward into the right leg. So pulsing forward into the right knee, driving the knee forward, keeping the heel grounded, inhaling and exhaling. Ground the left hand to the floor, right arm up to the sky, drive out the back leg for that twisted lunge. Inhale. And as you exhale, come into your side plank. Take another deep breath in and as you exhale again, extend that top arm overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ground the hands down to the floor, come back into our plank, soften back into the knees and then we go into that explosive movement of moving forward into that tricep press and driving the body back for three, and then press up and out. Coming into our scapular presses, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, and then driving out the upper back. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Good work. Keep moving through, keeping those arms as straight as you can, and then drive the bum back and jump forward, coming onto your toes into this little squat ball, so we're kind of holding ourselves in this little ball. And then from here, we're going to take our fist into our hand, coming up into a toe stand hold. And you're going to exhale, release the knees forward. Reach your arms up high to the sky, coming up into your knees. And then see if you can rock the body back up into your toes. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, send the knees forward, reach your arms up high. And then practice that again, draw it back up into the toes. And again, it's so coming forward, reach up, exhale, come back up. Nice deep breath in. Now from here, we're going to exhale, reach the knees forward, coming up high to the sky, come back into the toes, and we're going to open up those knees. So nice deep breath in, open the knees out to the side, feet together, deep breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can sweep the arms up above you. Hold. And then release. Now take your arms forward and just find a little stretch here coming into this forward fold. Lift the body up, bring the hands back to centre and reach your arms out to the side this time, opening up the chest. Exhale, take the arms out in front. Inhale, rise, lift the chest up, open up the arms again, inhaling. 
and then exhale. Ground the hands down this time, so jump back, and we're going to come all the way down to the belly, inhaling to rise into a cobra, and then exhale, come to the floor. Taking our shoulder stretch here now, right arm is grounded, taking the right leg over the left leg. And then to make this a little more deeper as a practice, we're going to open up the quad, grabbing hold of the right ankle here, inhaling and exhaling, staying on the side of the hip. As you release, roll over, switch it out. So we're taking the left hand alongside us, left leg behind us. And if you can, we're going to grab hold of that left leg with the left hand, finding our quad stretch, inhale and exhale. Take another deep breath in, exhaling and release. Come back to centre, hands alongside the chest, roll the shoulders back, come into Cobra. From here, tuck the toes in, wave it back, coming into our down dog. From here, we're going to come into our elevated tabletop. Knees hovering off the ground, draw the right knee to the back of the forearm and then the left knee to the back of the forearm. Don't lift the bottom. Keep everything just hovering about an inch or so away from the floor. Keep moving side to side here. Really engage your core. Draw those tummy muscles up and in. From here, taking our twist and kick out. Taking the right leg underneath, kicking out under the left. Taking the right leg over and behind us. Opening up the back and then release. Come to centre. Kick the left leg underneath the right leg this time. Taking the left leg behind us. Driving the hips up. Taking that back bend. And then release. We'll do that again. Kick out that right leg underneath the left. Rotate. Open up the hips. Drive the hips up. Maybe looking down to the back arm. Now this time take the hands behind you. Fingertips towards you. Come into tabletop. And then drive the hips down towards the heels. Bending the elbows. Tabletop. And then as we reverse the hands back round. Right arm up and over. We're going to come round into a plank briefly, taking that right leg back underneath us, opening those hips back up and out as we take the right leg over, open into that back bend, hands behind us, fingertips towards the bum, reverse tabletop, taking the bum down to the heels, little dip there, tabletop, and then from here, reverse those hands back round, take it back into that back bend. Let's move to the other side, coming to the other side, kicking the left leg out underneath the right leg this time, left leg behind you, drive the hips up, open up. Exhale, ground the hands down, fingertips towards the bottom, come into our dip, drive up into reverse tabletop, drive the left arm behind you into that back bend, ground down, take that left leg back underneath you, open it out, Drive the hips up. Exhale, hands behind you, fingertips to bum. Drive up, reverse tabletop. Inhale, coming down into our dip. Exhale, reverse tabletop, fingertips back out. Open into back bend. Exhale, bend into the knees now, little turbo dog. Jump to the top of your mat, feet to the outside of your hands, coming into our functional squat. So take your hands up and out in front of you now. We're going to work into that internal rotation of the hip. Draw the right knee in to the centre of the mat and then switch to the opposite knee. Take your time. You don't need to go as quickly as me. Go a little bit slower if you need to. Not a problem at all. Inhaling and exhaling. Take the hands to the inside of the thighs. Press the palms away from you so we're opening up the chest. And then ground down into your hands. From here, we're going to take crow. So you're going to come into the backs of your arms, traction the arms against the back of the legs and vice versa, bringing the feet up. We're just going to do a standard crow to start, hold and release. This time we're going to practice that again, but we're going to take it into a jump back. If you can't do the jump back, don't worry, just step back. So you're going to move up and into the backs of the arms, tractioning the arms against the leg, looking ahead, engaged core, Deep breath in and as you exhale, you're going to kick those legs back behind you. Coming into our Chaturanga. Inhale, rise, come into Cobra. Exhale, out into a down dog. From here, let's just wave that body all the way forward. Coming into our plank and release. Wave it forward and release. Exhaling. Inhale forward. Bringing the body into plank, coming into our core series again, draw the right foot out to the side and then the left foot out to the side. So it's like a slow down version of a plank jack, 
but we're basically really thinking about engaging the core here, keeping the pelvis tucked under, not moving the upper body, keeping everything super strong. From here, just gently, we're going to bring the knee into the back of the arm and press out through the back leg. Now, as you're pushing out through the back leg, you're bending the opposing leg as you draw the knee in. So as you inhale, you bend the back knee and then you exhale and drive out. So draw the left knee in and right leg bends. Good. Drive it up and out. And again, press it out. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time. Just keep growing, keep practicing. And then gently, let's release. Come back into that down dog. Looking ahead, nice deep breath in. And let's just take a couple of pulses here before bending into knees and jumping to the top of the mat. Roll down onto your bottom, bringing yourself into a half boat pose. Hold it here, engaging those tummy muscles again. Now from here, we're going to be drawing the knees up to the chest and the chest up to the knees. Take a moment to breathe and let's bring up and in. As you do so, bring the arms forward for me and back. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Keep it going. Breathe it out. Come back into that hold for taps, drawing the foot to the floor, switching sides. Keep that body engaged. Roll those shoulders back if you're starting to curve through that spine. And then if you can, fully extend the legs, lift that chest up, inhaling, exhaling, inhale. Now slowly lower the body down, hollow body, hold it here, keeping that chest lifted, legs off the floor, inhale, exhale, draw those tummy muscles in and then slowly release, well done. Interlace the hands, press the palms away from you, full body stretch, toes up to the sky and then draw the right knee into the chest. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. From here, draw the left knee behind the back of that right leg and grab hold of the back of the thigh, releasing the shoulders, finding that stretch into the glutes. Extending the left leg, sweep yourself up to seated and then take hold of your right knee, wrapping your arm around it, looking over your right shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Exhale, unravel, going in the opposite direction. Draw the right knee into the chest before extending that leg up to the sky. Up onto your back toes. We're going to step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Right arm up high to the sky. Inhale, exhale, drawing that back leg towards you. Grabbing hold of the foot, inhaling. And exhaling, opening up into the quad, into the hip flexor. Release, ground the hands down to the floor. Ground the left forearm to the floor and still grabbing hold of that back foot if you can. If this is too much, don't worry. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Release. Take the hands back down to the ground and from here we're going to push back into the back leg, step the right leg back and gently move forwards and back through the wrists in this plank position. Inhaling and exhaling. We're going to take a couple more rocks here before we move our body into the other direction. So from here, take a nice deep breath in, send the bum back, jump forward, and then gently release yourself back onto your bottom, coming onto your back and grab hold of the left leg this time. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. From here, take another deep breath in, drawing that right knee behind the left leg this time, opening up the hips into our figure of four. From here, we're going to be extending the right leg up to the sky, sweeping the body up to seated, taking that left knee over, grabbing hold of that left knee with the right arm, looking over our left shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Take another round of breath before counterposing. So walking the hands all the way around to the top of your mat, drawing the left knee into the chest this time, extending up to the sky. Inhale, draw the left knee to the outside of the left hand, left arm up to the sky for our lunge twist and grab hold of that back leg. Inhale and exhale. Remember, you can either stay there or to make this a little bit more deeper, come onto your front forearm on the right side. Inhale and exhale. Release. 
taking yourself onto forearms, into forearm plank. Hold. Inhaling. Exhaling. Take the legs out to the side one by one. So forearm plank jacks here. Bringing individual leg out. Engage the core. Don't let that core sink. Deep breaths in and out. Engaging into the glutes, into the inner thighs before drawing the right knee up to the back of the arm and then the left knee. And again, try not to be lifting the bottom up too high. Really focus on working those obliques. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in, exhaling, and then release. Coming into the forearms, I like to drive up through the forearms, pressing the bum up to the sky, walking the feet in, and coming into our down dog. Really focusing on the strength in the back of the arms here. Bend into the knees, jump to the top of the mat. And from here, we're just going to release down into a forward forward before rising up, arms up high to the sky. Take your hands back to your heart center. And then from here, we're going to draw the right knee up to hip height. We're going to take some circles here into the hips. Really thinking about drawing the knees up and over, working with the hips. So maybe you need to do your circles a little lower. That's absolutely fine. Take the right leg behind the left leg. And we'll take our nice IT band stretch here, releasing the body down in front of the legs, keeping the legs as straight as possible. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, take the right leg back to center and rise. Bring the arms up high to the sky, full body stretch, hands back to center and draw the left knee to hip height and circle out the hips here, opening up in your own time before taking that left leg all the way behind the right leg. Feet in line with each other and then release, coming down the front of the leg, finding that nice deep IT band stretch, inhaling and exhaling. Take another deep breath in, rise up, unravel the feet, unraveling the legs, and grab hold of the elbows. Just take a moment here to swing side to side, opening up the shoulders, the back of the neck, and the backs of the arms. Take the hands behind the back of the head, interlacing the fingertips, gently releasing the chin to chest, opening up the back of the neck here. Gently look under the right underarm and then relax back to centre, looking under the left underarm, gently twisting the body slightly. Back to centre as you inhale and release the hands down to the floor. Slowly roll up through the spine, reach the arms up high to the sky. And then we're going to work into our cars movement for our shoulders. So this articulated movement through the shoulder joint. Palm is facing in at the top, opening at the top. We're trying to keep the arm as close to the body as possible, but not rotate through the hips or shift in the hips. Switch sides, bringing the left arm back, inhaling opening up the arm and exhaling. Great work. Deep breath in. And now let's reverse that movement now, bringing the palm facing in as you do so. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. Inhaling. Exhale. And then switch sides. Inhale. Exhale, continue as we wind down this practice today. Hope you're finding that warmth, that movement, that mobility and flexibility that you've been searching for. And then from here, draw the elbows back into a cactus shape with the arms and then release the arms forward, opening up the upper back. Inhaling, draw the elbows back. Exhale, release, bring the arms forward. One final breath in, opening up the chest and exhale. Inhale, rise, interlace the hands, press the palms away from you, finding this full body stretch, bring the feet together, deep breath in and then exhale, release the arms down to your hips and from here, take your hands back to your heart, bowing your head, thanking yourself today for this practice. Have a great rest of the day.